is this? Where did all my money go? Yeah, right. I remember now. So fellow creatives, today I'm going to talk about seven different things that I didn't know before I started photography. If you're new to the channel, I'm Khan and I'm an online marketeer who is doing everything he possibly can to become a full-time online content creator. So if you're feeling like supporting me, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It costs a lot of freaking money. I'm not exaggerating when I'm saying that this craft, photography and videography, ate up almost all my savings. At first you start out with a decent camera body and a decent kit lens. But after a while, when you get hooked to the craft, as I got, you quite fast want to upgrade and you buy a more expensive camera body with higher megapixels. But you should also keep in mind that when you get a camera body with higher megapixels, that your file sizes also get bigger. So you probably need to get faster and more SD cards. And you need to get more hard drives, probably SSDs too, who are way more expensive. And then you also probably need to get a better PC because you need a PC that's powerful enough to edit those large file sizes. And it doesn't stop there. Then you have all the other accessories. You have polarizers, you have ND filters, you have a microphone, you have external lights, you have a tripod. It just never stops you guys. You really need to limit your spending on camera gear because otherwise you're going to get broke quite fast. I talk about this in one of my previous videos and it's about gear acquisition syndrome. Check it out here. It takes some time before you get decent at photo editing. I know that a while back when I edited one of my first photos, it was a portrait photo of my girlfriend, that <laughs> when I look back at it, the face, it was quite screwed up. The, the face was way too much oversaturated and it was weird brownish looking. And when I compare it to one of my most recent photos of my girlfriend, also a portrait photo of course, it's so much better. But this took me almost a half year to a year to improve my skills to this level. So don't expect your editing skills to be right at the level of the social media influencers that you see or the top photographers because it really takes some time to develop your skills and to get at that level. You need to spend hours and hours and hours editing photos or content from another photographer so you can improve your skills. You need to market yourself. You can do this through a website. I use Squarespace, for example, where I show my portfolio for potential clients. But you can also do this through other ways, such as social media. One of the most obvious one is Instagram, of course. But you also have Twitter, one that's overlooked by a lot of people. And on there you can upload photos up to 4K and a photography community on there is huge. And then you also have YouTube, such as this channel, of course, that I also use to personal brand myself and to teach guys like you the stuff that I learned over the past year. But please don't get too obsessed over apps such as Instagram. Over the past year, I became so freaking obsessed with that app, thinking that it would give me much more revenue and way more clients, but in reality, it really didn't. So focus on the things that are really important, such as networking with other people, updating your portfolio and finding the right target audience. If you want to become a professional, you're gonna need some patience. I think it's about a half year ago that I decided that I wanted to become a professional photographer or content creator. And it's only about two weeks ago that I landed my first official client. And I didn't get this client because I obsessed so much over Instagram or because of my social media profiles. No, I got this client through a connection to someone that was in my school, in my class, and he runs a digital marketing agency. He found a client that was looking for photos. So he contacted me about it. So if you're looking for clients, start to look at your inner circle first. Who do you know? Do you know someone with a marketing agency or someone else that just needs photos? 
networking is very important. It's way more important than posting on your social media and trying to keep up with the very big influencers and hoping that you can reach the same audience one day. Because in the end, it doesn't give money in your pocket. And a very good social media app to network on is LinkedIn. This is the best one because it's actually Facebook, but just for careers and job opportunities. You shouldn't really expect jobs to fall into your lap from their sales. You really need to work hard for them. You need to spend a lot of time behind your computer. I think I spend around 25% of the time with the camera in my hands and around 75% behind my desk. And why you may ask? Because obviously when you shoot a lot of photos, you gotta edit everything. And let's say that one photo takes approximately 15 minutes to edit. For some, it can take an hour. For others, it can take just five minutes when you just slap a preset on it. So editing really takes a lot of time. And other than this, like I mentioned before, you gotta market yourself. So you need to keep up with your social media, trying to find new prospects and manage your relationship with your current clients, improve your work overall. So if you really don't like sitting behind your desk a lot of time, then this maybe isn't for you. Especially in the beginning, in the first years when you're just starting out, you're gonna sit a lot behind your PC because you're going to need to wear different hats and you need to market yourself, you need to edit all your photos, you need to set everything up from your Google ads, from your website, just all the marketing in general, you need to do your taxes. And that's something that the bigger photographers probably don't need to do anymore because they have the income to outsource this. Go out and shoot. Go out and shoot a lot. And I have three more other tips. Go out and shoot. Go out and shoot. And you guessed it right, the last one. Go out and freaking shoot. Because that's the only way you're going to learn how to use your camera and how to improve your skills. How to deal with different lighting circumstances, such as dealing with harsh lights in midday, or how to deal with low light situations. And over time, you're going to get a feeling of what you like shooting. Maybe you thought that you liked shooting macro shots of flowers in the beginning, but after a while, when you went out to the city and you took a lot of shots of buildings, let's say, you decided that you wanted to become an architecture photographer. So, this is the only way you can actually determine for yourself what you like and what you don't like shooting. Don't get obsessed by watching other YouTubers doing their thing. A very bad habit of me is to look at the big YouTubers such as Peter McKinnon and Matteo Poya doing all their crazy camera stuff and wishing that I could do the same. But this is a really bad and unproductive habit. And don't get me wrong. It's definitely not a bad thing to learn from them and see how they do their things and to get inspiration from them. But in the end, you just gotta do your own thing and put your own twist on those kind of things. So spend less time on watching other YouTubers doing their thing, except for my channel, of course. Keep watching my channel, please. <laughs> and spend more time practicing and improving your craft. And was there something that you had no clue about when you started photography? that you needed to do a lot or that you were surprised by, comment down below. I didn't make this video to scare you guys, but I just wanted to tell you the reality of being a photographer or a videographer, and especially in the beginning. You might think that we have a camera in your hands a lot of the time, but this is definitely not true. Especially in the beginning, like I said before, you gotta be able to wear different hats. So you're gonna market yourself, you need to update your portfolio, manage your website, you need to keep up with your social media and so on. Hit that thumbs up button if you think this video was valuable and please hit that subscribe button if you want to see more like this in the future. So creatives, see you in the next one. Come out. Peace.